I'm with Professor Thomas Bocock, and he's um, Head of Particle Physics at Liverpool University. Thomas, can I ask you, um, why smashing two proton beams together at very high speeds could tell us whether or not the Higgs boson exists? Well, first of all, when you smash two protons together at very high speeds, it doesn't just produce Higgs bosons. Mm -hmm. It produces lots of, lots of different types of particles. Actually, what happens is you produce a very, very high energy hot spot, which is like the beginning of the universe. And that point, when the universe was very hot, um, if, if you like what we're doing, we're turning the clock back to the first trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. And at that point, all sorts of different particles could exist. The universe looked very different from the way it did now. And one of the ways it looks different is that Higgs particles were easily seen. So what we're doing is we're turning the clock back and producing a whole zoo of different types of particles, amongst which the Higgs is one of them. Okay. Now, in, in your talk at ESOF earlier, you described very eloquently, I thought, how smashing them together, it was like, it was like dropping a cup on the floor. Indeed. And then you have all these shots and you're trying to put them back together and then you can weigh the cup and see well, to exactly. get all the shards. Is that effectively what you're doing? Well, what we're doing, uh, yes. Uh, what happens is we produce these particles which then instantly shatter into different components and what we do, what, what people who are studying these decays do, is they try and find uh, how to put the cup together to reconstruct what was originally there. So it's actually quite a good analogy. Okay. And, and were you there on July 4th? When they uh, announced? I was with my team in Liverpool. Uh, we were about 50 of us there, and we were celebrating in Liverpool. Excellent, excellent. Can you also explain to me this, this, figure, this, this expression we hear, the sigma 5? What does that mean? Well, it's the gold standard for discovery, which physicists have set themselves. It basically uh, represents about a one chance in a million that you haven't discovered what you've said you have okay. done. Right? Okay, so that's basically a way of saying this, this is our confidence in the results. It's your level of certainty. <laughs> level yes. of certainty. And so this was a five sigma result. Absolutely. It was two five sigma two results. Two five sigma. One from Atlas and one from CMS. Absolutely. Excellent. Good.